Welcome back, my melodies, and welcome to the final day in the mini tin week. Um, we've been going through all the different mini tins, and now we're hitting Quaxley with a <laughs> scare and a small of. Poor little olive oil spraying everywhere. Poor little guy, but this will be the final tin, and then we can check out all the artwork and everything. There is the sticker, there is the artwork, and of course, we're going to be talking about Quaxley on this informational piece put that over there and we got our two packs silver tempest and scarlet and violet and then of course once again it's always fun to see we will expose the artwork for the tin and we're in day number five and the last ten of the set so i do like to try and collect all of the different artworks of the set i put it with like the promos that come out with the set so try and try and keep up with that but uh don't always succeed but i did manage to get every set for this one um choose or predict which pack is going to end up winning today's battle and while we figure out the compare card stuff oh no that is somewhere somewhere hold up <laughs> Technical difficulties on where in the world did that end up rolling to? Okay, I'm going to choose slot number five because I have lost, I've lost the die. <laughs> okay, let's figure out category. Category is re-roll. Uh, okay, so we're doing HP. Let's do... Let's just use this one. Okay, so we're going to do slot number three, and we're looking for the lowest HP of the set. And I will have to find that dice somewhere else, because it went. <laughs> hey, sometimes you, you're having too much fun, and your dice disappear on you. <laughs> I'm sure one of the cats will end up turning up playing with it. So There is the code card for Silver Tempest. There is the energy, and we're going to slot number three so that we can match all this stuff. We got NDD. NDD has 90. Okay. Marini, mischievous, reverse regenerative energy, and oh, look at the gold. Okay, we got a gold gape jaw bog out of that set. Wow, okay. The silver tempest packs are definitely uh, hitting some good ones in these tens. <laughs> Well, and you know, of course, because we sleeved up a card, we got to bring out the MVP section with Blastoise. Blastoise is hanging out in the gape, a gape draw bog, just having some fun there. And that is pack number one. So then we're going to jump into the Silver Tempest pack. And let's see if we can have a, a lower HP in slot number three. There's the code card for everybody. There is the energy, and we will have one, two, and three is energy search. We're looking for, um, we're looking for HP. So I guess any, any of these HPs will do it, but we'll divide by two and round up. So that'll be the compare card because it's a trainer. We have to divide by two and round up to make sure we get to a, a, uh, Pokemon, and then of course, here's the Reverse Hollows, Houndor, Weaklet, and Skeledurge. I feel like I keep pulling Skeledurge out of the Scarlet and Violet set. Um, but, so it looks like the uh, Scarlet and Violet wins the Compare card, but Silver Tempest definitely pulls the uh, the better hit here with Gape Jaw Bog. The, um, of course, all the different uh, pulls that we've had this week. Let me see if I can pull those back out. We've had the uh, Lugia with Pikachu, Toxicroak, and then now Gape Draw Bog. Uh, let me know down below which 10 you think ends up winning. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can pull out the artworks. Let's put all of these into the MVP section, and then let's start building the artwork. So we have Quaxley, we have Foycoco lined up there if I can get it somewhat lined up and let's just go ahead and see if I can get the rest of these lined up for a nice artwork so you can see all the different artwork does line up 
and it makes a fun little piece. Of course, if you want to tape it to make it perfect, you can certainly do that. I am uh, struggling on some of the seams, but <laughs> we get one picture, and of course that picture does match the 10. So that's why I like collecting these. It's all fun, and it's all part of the fun and games. And now I have a, I have a dice to find. <laughs> to, I gotta find where my 10-sided die ended up rolling <laughs> and see if what, what letter it is. Predict down below what uh what the the die actually did land on after bouncing all over the floor um and i'll i'll update the i'll pin a comment whoever's first about that thanks for watching thanks for playing and in the end a little music goes a long way <laughs>